What's happening everybody? Review Man here. And today I am back uh, with a no movie called The Intruder. I picked this movie up today. Uh, it was a pretty decent movie. It's a movie about a guy who just can't... Who just can't move on. And this movie stars Dennis Quaid as a guy named Charlie. He's looking to sell his house. And he and he uh, gets these two people that are interested in this in the house called uh, Scott and Elliot, uh, Scott and Annie, and they're just two newly uh, well, judging by their uh, ways in the movie, there's uh, gotta be two newlywed couples, or they've been married not, uh, they haven't been married that long. So in the movie, Scott is a like a um, like an investor seller type person. And Annie, she just, uh, and Annie, she, I forgot what she does. But anyway, she, they, uh, move into this house. And the, whenever they first come upon the house, they see, they, they, uh, the house is in Napa Valley. They move from the city to Napa Valley. And it's a nice place out in the country. I don't, I've never been there, but I wouldn't mind going sometime. But anyway, uh, it's a nice house in, in the country. And they come upon the house. And they're looking around the house. They're, they're, they're looking at the house. They come upon it. They see this guy with a gun. And he's like, don't shoot, don't shoot. We're here, we're here for the house. We're here for the house. And it turns out the guy was just shooting a deer. Because the deer has been shooting up the crops. The deer has been eating up the crops. And his name is Charlie. Charlie is played by the great actor Dennis Quaid. And if you haven't seen any of Dennis Quaid's, uh, Dennis Quaid's acting... He plays this part to a T. He is great as a, he is a great a, uh, actor as a creepy guy, such as this, such as this uh, his character in this movie. And Charlie, he's just he he uh, he just can't. He's showing uh, Annie and Scott around the house, and he just can't. He's one of these people that just can't let let go from the past, and. So what they do, what he does is he sells them the house, and then one day uh, Annie sees uh, they move in, and Scott, uh, they all both of them move in. Charlie uh, goes to the, Charlie goes to the, uh, and gives them the keys and everything and all this other stuff. He drives off, and then they, then Scott and Annie go inside and make some love. In the next, in the next uh, scene that we see is uh, Scott and Annie and their friend Mike and his wife or girlfriend or whatever. They're having some dinner, and he tells them about that uh, the whole, the whole, uh, the whole whenever they first met Charlie in the first place, and he was holding a gun and all this. And Scott goes for a smoke. He he smokes a cigarette. He throws it on the ground. And then the next thing we see is whenever they get ready to leave, whenever Scott, uh, no, whenever Mike gets ready to leave, is that there's a cigarette burn on his, on his, uh, on his vehicle. He has a nice vehicle. I mean, the money that they make, I mean, he has a pretty nice vehicle. So, the movie clip goes on. The next day we see, uh, they, the next day we see Scott is having a meeting with his, we're having a meeting with one of the investors, and he gets a call from, and it's Annie, and and he's like, uh, "Did you know that Charlie's over here cutting the grass?" And he's like, "What?" So she goes outside. She goes out. They hangs up with Scott. She goes outside, and she's like, uh, "Charlie, what are you doing here cutting the grass?" And then there's then Charlie's like, "Oh, it's, I I usually keep the." I usually keep the lawnmower in the garage, and the yard needs to be tended to. And so they kind of play that off as sort of a yeah, you know, type yeah, you know type of thing. So the movie keeps on going on, and creepier and creepier things happen each time that they either come home from work or going somewhere or whatever. It's like Charlie is around the house somewhere, and. Then I got I, I know I said this before, but Dennis Quaid plays a pretty good part in this. So he brought he comes over to the house this Thanksgiving, and so uh, 
he's not very happy with the way that they spruced up spruced up his uh spruced up their house because he he's not happy with the changes. So they all have some dinner with uh they all have dinner with Scott uh, uh Scott Annie uh Mike Mike's wife and Charlie all have some dinner. Uh and they're all having wine and then uh then Charlie is again this vision in his head that he wants to kill, and he wants to knock uh, Mike uh, Mike over the head with a uh, wine wine bottle because he's not happy with the way that Mike what took a took a whiz on his lawn or urinated on his lawn, and yeah. So the movie goes on, and some some weird things are happening. Uh, Scott uh, Charlie keeps on showing up whenever. Whenever Annie's alone, and Scott's not a big fan of, uh, Scott's not a big fan of the way that Charlie is doing what he's doing. And Scott and, uh, Annie, they get in a fight because Scott sends Annie a text. I say, hey, babe, I'll, I'll be late. Don't wait, don't wait up. And so what that, what that happens is Scott, uh, Charlie comes over to the house with a pizza. And they have some pizza. And no wait, never mind. That's later. That's later in the movie. Anyway, I'm jumping ahead of myself a little bit. And so, is uh, what Scott does is he decides to get a, uh, he decides to get a uh, little bit of research done on this, on Charlie, and he's finding out some stuff about Charlie had a daughter. Char Charlie never had actually. Charlie's daughter changed her name. He and. Uh, Charlie was like a, I don't know how they put this, Charlie was like involved with like a bunch of foreclosures and fraud and uh, bankruptcy and all this other stuff. So he's trying to sell everything that he's got. But, but the house, he just can't, he just can't uh, let go of the house. And all through the movie, you, uh, and... Other than the movie, whenever they're getting security lights, whenever they're getting, uh, whenever they're putting up Christmas lights and all this stuff, he keeps on referring to it as my house. And Scott, Scott's like, you know what, I appreciate you and everything, but I don't want no smoking and no, I don't want, I don't want no smoking and no guns on my property, so you can get off my property. And, bit, Charlie isn't hearing any of this, and... So a little bit later on in the movie, uh, Scott's going out for a run, and then the next thing we see is his truck smack Charlie, no smack Scott, and knock knock him out. And then uh, Scott wakes up in the in the uh, hospital, and he's saying it's Charlie, it's Charlie, it's Charlie. And so Mike comes over to see Scott in the hospital, and Mike's like. Mike's like, is there any man doing anything? Scott said, yeah, go over to the house and check on Annie. He, uh, and then make sure she's all right and make sure everything's okay. And so uh, Scott says, yeah, sure, man, no problem. And so they go over to the, uh, they go over to the house. He goes, Scott goes over to the house. Yeah. Mike goes over to the house and he looks in the mirror. He, lo he looks in the, looks in the bushes like that at the house. And he sees Charlie and Annie sitting there having pizza. Annie's, uh, she, uh no, uh, Charlie's trying to, uh, make his way with Annie. And, and trying to get her drunk and eat, give her some pizza and all this other stuff. And Charlie's, Charlie goes into the kitchen. He looks out the window, sees, sees Mike standing there. And Mike sees him looking in the back at, looking back at him. And he says, you know what? He, Charlie goes to Annie and says, you know what? I think there's somebody in your in your bushes. And so what he does is he goes out there. He grabs the axe. He goes, he just goes walking around. And he sees Mike. And Mike like, Charlie's like, oh, Mike, you, you scared me. And so what they do is they go walking back to his car. He He kills Mike. And he's like, you know what? I'm gonna have all I want 
whenever I get, all I gotta do is get rid of Scott. And Mike's like, what? And he takes an axe to Scott's ribs. Some of the gruesome, some of the gruesome death. And he's like, okay, where am I gonna put you now? And so, uh, Scott's, uh, Mike's in, Mike's dead. Scott's still in the hospital. He's about to get out. And, uh, Charlie's still being creepy as all, as normal. And so what Mike does is he gets, he gets out. And he, whenever he gets, whenever Mike, uh, no, whenever Scott gets to the house, he sees Charlie, he's like, so you're bringing flowers to my wife? I want you, I want you to get off my property. And he keeps on saying, get off my property and get off. Then he brings up a restraining order. And then what that does is that, uh, he finds some he finds some more information on Charlie. And what that does is he shows that Charlie had a, had a daughter that changed her name. He called Charlie's daughter a few times. And uh, Charlie's daughter finally gives her the information that my uh, my dad killed my my dad killed my mom. Made it look like a suicide. He he was telling everybody. He was telling uh, Mike. No, he was telling Scott that um, she died of cancer, but she killed. Uh, he killed her, and with a shotgun blast. And so yeah, so he, they're over there. They're in the house. Uh, my Charlie's about to have his way with uh, with with um, with Annie, and so Scott comes into the rescue. They have this big old showdown. He he throws Mike over the railing of the. He throws Mike over the railing, and then they have the, then he what he does is they have have a fight with each other. He, uh, Charlie tries to have his way with Annie in the in the bedroom, and then after that, a fight ensues. And so what? She, and then they all start to fight each other. After Annie figured out what was going on in the basement the whole time, he was living up underneath that. He was living in the basement the entire movie, and that's how he was able to find like realize that he was that they were there all the time because he was pretty much listening with everybody. Everything, cause he knew his way around that house. It, this movie it was it's creepy. It, it's creepy, but it's kind of suspenseful. So anyway, the movies we're almost done with it. The movies um uh, going on. They're having this big old showdown, and they're fighting and doing all this other stuff. Finally, uh, Scott Mike, Charlie goes downstairs and gets a gets a shotgun, gets a double barrel shotgun. And he starts shooting up. He starts shooting up the house. Like, Get out my house! <laughs> shooting everything up. And so uh, Scott and Scott and Annie are hiding in this room. And so he's he's just shooting up the room. He goes into the room that they're in. He sh he shoot he shoots the lights out. And so um, uh, Scott has a baseball bat. He hits uh, Charlie. Charlie goes down. Scott grabs the gun. He sh he shoots Charlie, and Annie calls the cops. And the movie and the movie's over after Annie calls the cops. Or so you think that Charlie's dead. But if you watch the alternate ending, like I got in the DVD here, you you find out that Charlie had a had a vest, had a uh, had a bulletproof vest. And just in case, because he planned ahead just in case Mike, just in case Scott tried to shoot him. He planned ahead. So, is Charlie's not really dead, so there might be a, the intruder, and then A and D, and Intruder 2, and a the Intruder, however you say it. There might be a the Intruder 2, whatever. I don't, I don't really see unless he start, unless he uh, brings out another brings another family or's got another house somewhere. I don't see how that'll work, but we'll find out. But uh, anyway, Dennis Quaid, you played you played a pretty good creepy dude. I I enjoyed this acting in this movie, suspenseful, whatever. Not a bad movie. I give it a five out of five. So again, anyway, guys, I'm the review man. You are you. If you've seen this movie, let me know what you think about it. 
Anyway, I will see you guys in the next review. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff, and have a good one.